I think I would fall asleep at the cookout if I ate this. Hi, my name is Salorm Kaplani, and I'm a video producer here at BuzzFeed. Hi, my name is Jaden, and I work for BuzzFeed. I produce videos here. My name is Thomas. I'm a producer here, and today I brought my shrimp mac and cheese. Hi, my name is Joyce. I am a BuzzFeed producer and creator. Yeah, I'm making some mac and cheese. I made this drunk last night. Whoever set this shoot up on a Monday, F you. I have no idea what I was thinking when I made this. I gave it a try when I was done, it tastes like nothing but salt. This is terrible. I just hope they don't play me too bad. For this recipe, what I did was made my mac and cheese per normal, but I added in some Cajun shrimp to it that I kind of was hoping it would give it a little bit more flavor, but it gave it nothing but embarrassment. Why does she look like that? I mean, she doesn't look that pretty. <laughs> I'm mad. It's not cute, like it's not pretty. Black people will always put some seafood in their mac and cheese. Smells like it could have some flavor. It's not nasty, but I don't like it that much. Very cheesy. Hmm. I like this one. Oh my God! Somebody put shrimp in this. Who put shrimp in the mac and cheese? Ooh, he got the good shrimp too. I've never seen that before, and is this a potato? The texture is decadent. It's like, cheese, shrimp, macaroni. This is actually good. I don't know, there's something Creole tasting about this. You know, it's like punching you in the face. I think this is uh, Joyce's. I think Thomas made this recipe because he's a mixture of bougie, classy, and hood. I'm gonna give it a six because for one, a big part of food is making it look pretty. And this, she's not pretty. I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half. I gotta be careful. I would give this mac and cheese an eight. It's delicious. But I think I would fall asleep at the cookout if I ate this. I think that I bring a level of class and a mixture of trash that everyone will enjoy. You know, people will say it might need a little bit more salt, but that's okay, we can add to it instead of take away from the core experience that is everything that's delicious, which is what I made. <laughs> Yo, who did this? Okay, so this one's different. I like that they did the shells. I feel like this person maybe attempted their own recipe, like, and won it. These are my coworkers, so I'm not gonna be. <laughs> this is mac and cheese! Look at these big old, what are those? Just cleansing my palate. All right. Mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> it's nasty. I like this one, actually. I think it could have more flavor, for sure. I'm actually very concerned. You're not a chef, but this is unacceptable for mac and cheese, coming from a black person. You gotta start by putting love into the mac and cheese. I'm gonna say this is Joyce's, but I hope it's not. I think Slorm might have made this. I think Thomas made this mac and cheese because he made it at the last minute. I think rating-wise, I'm gonna give this a six. I'm gonna have to give this one a one. I'm sorry, but I don't wanna eat anymore. I'm gonna have to give this a four. So today I brought my homemade mac and cheese. Ooh, I'm telling y'all, I put my foot in this, and not literally, but maybe. Oh, this one might be salty like mine. The cheese is caramelized at the top. It's giving that nice brown high yellow mixture. I love the brownness of it because that is something you want to achieve. I obviously didn't achieve that. Let's try it out. Mmm. That oh, smells good. For some reason, this tastes like um, Domino's pizza. Some okay mac and cheese, and it's not dry. That's what you never want your mac and cheese to be, dry. This is giving all pepper, no salt. Looks wise, they did it. They put their they little heart and soul into this mac and cheese. Shout out to them. Like, it's thick, you can see all the noodles, but 
the taste isn't giving me mac and cheese. She's cheesing, but she could cheese more. I don't think this person is a chef, but I do think that this person knows how to cook a little bit. I really don't know who put this together. I'm gonna go with Jaden. Only because I feel like Jaden got that soul, Jaden got that flavor, but she just kind of messed up a little bit. I think Salorm made this recipe. It just reminds me of Salorm. Cute, small, makes it healthy because you know, she's like a vegetarian. On a scale of one through 10, I'm gonna rank this a five. Everything is good about it, minus that flavor of pepperoni pizza. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. It has a nice little burn to it, but I do feel like that it's missing that extra little moisture that it could have. I would rate this mac and cheese a solid six. We'll make it to the cookout. No one will talk their junk, but she could reach for more stars. in winning today even though I've never made mac and cheese before. This is my first time ever making mac and cheese. And the reason for that is because me and my mom used to fight in the kitchen and like, she used to be like, oh, you make it like this? And I'd be like, mom, relax. Like, it's okay. We're not doing math right now. Like, you don't have to yell at me. Ooh, okay, I'm excited to try this. So it looks very cheesy. Hmm. This is mine. Okay, it's giving a beautiful crust on top. I can see it's a little oily, but that's good. I don't know. Guys, I'm African, but I know what tastes good. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. Definitely needs a little bit of salt. Oh, this is really good. It's good, but it's like kind of basic. I think Joyce made this. This one got some something interesting up in there, and I feel like that's something Joyce would do. I, things that don't belong in there. I think this is Jaden. It's just giving something a pretty girl would make. I'm gonna guess Jaden made this. I'm sorry, Jaden. I don't think you're basic, but you're mac and cheeses. I'm gonna rate this at eight because the consistency, the flavor, the look. I would rank this a solid seven and a half. I love the crust, I love the cheesiness, but it needed just a little bit more salt and a little less pepper. I'd give this one like a five. I mean, it could be better, but it's good. Hi guys, it's Kayleen. I am a cocoa butter producer here. So I'm here today to make sure that there's no cheating. I'm gonna be the one that's cutting all the bias. I need to make sure that the person that wins, wins because they actually did that. I'm not gonna lie, when I came in, this one looked the most appealing. This one looked like the one that you would have at the barbecue. Okay, Auntie did this one, you know, because Jaden, is from Compton. She got a little sass in her. I think this is her mac and cheese. So if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, because it doesn't have enough flavor, I would give it maybe a 7.5. Um, why does it taste like it has like Old Bay in it? I'm from Maryland, so I know Old Bay when I taste it. If I had to guess, this is Salorm. Salorm strikes me as somebody who would cook and be like, do you like it? And you have to be like, mm-hmm. Mm, babes, I'm gonna have to give you a four. Ha, what is this? Why does this look like a grilled cheese? What? What's happening here? I'm not gonna lie, I think Thomas made this one. Scale of one to 10, I give this, I give this a nine. She put a different cheese in here. I think this is Joyce's, to be completely honest. I rated this a 7.5, so I feel bad rating this what I'm gonna rate it because I think that it has more taste. So if this has a 7.5, then this has to have like a 7.6. My mac and cheese cornbread won. Wow. This is uh, a shocker. <laughs>